Hi, I'm Anatomy Kid. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about vascularization, which is basically the circulatory system as well as the lymphoid system. I'm, above, I'm going to be drawing a picture of a heart, which is not completely to scale, but is mostly anatomically accurate. Uh, uh, the first part that I'm actually going to be discussing is veins and arteries and capillaries. Veins are thin tubes that carry blood towards the heart. Most veins carry deoxygenated blood or blood without oxygen. However, there is a vein that carries oxygenated blood. It comes from the lungs to the heart. It, arteries are thicker and carry blood away from the heart. Arteries away. The artery that carries deoxygenated blood is called the pulmonary trunk. Capillaries deliver blood directly to the tissue. They bridge the arteries and veins and form capillary bed, beds, which are basically just immense collections of capillaries that supply blood to the tissue. Now let's talk about the lesser known, but very important, lymphoid system. The lymphoid system is a part of the circulatory system. It consists of lymphatic vessels and lymph nodes. When the plasma, or the liquid part of blood, leaks from capillaries, the lymphatic vessels, which are open-ended, collect this plasma and transport it to the heart to be filtered back into the blood. On the way, lymph nodes detect any potential threats to the body within the plasma. These include bacteria, viruses, etc. Once the threats are detected, an immune defense begins. This is why lymph nodes swell when a person's ill. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe for more.